Hello everyone. Welcome back to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Have you ever wondered what could happen if cyber criminals gained control of the AI systems driving our cars, managing our power grids or even making critical decisions? With AI changing the world and automating the many tech jobs, cybersecurity is becoming one of the most promising career choices. As machines getting smarter, doing everything from writing code to designing cars, the risk of cyber attacks are growing just as fast. Hackers are using advanced tools, making companies more vulnerable than ever. This has created a huge demand for the cybersecurity experts to protect data, stop ransomware, and secure systems. Companies like Google, Microsoft, IBM, and the consulting firms such as the Deloitte and Accenture, along with the specialized firms like the Palo Alto Networks, are actively hiring cybersecurity professionals. In India, Cybersecurity salaries range from 4 to 6 LPA for the entry level roles to 25 to 50 plus LPA for the senior positions. While in US, they range from $70,000 to $90,000 per year for beginners to $200,000 for senior roles like CISO. Quite impressive, right? So, in this video, we will learn step by step how you can land your very first cybersecurity job from starting with zero knowledge to mastering the skills needed to get hired. I have broken down the entire roadmap into easy to follow weekly milestones. So, stay tuned as we cover everything you need to know in one powerful video. Your future in cybersecurity starts here. So, let's move in. Now, let's start with who is a cybersecurity engineer? A cybersecurity engineer is a tech professional responsible for designing, implementing, and maintaining secure systems to protect an organization's data and infrastructure from the cyber threats. They act as the first line of defense against hackers like malware and data breaches, ensuring that the sensitive information stays safe. Now, let's understand their roles and responsibilities. The roles and responsibilities of a cybersecurity engineer are as follows. Number one is design secure systems, building security architectures and implement firewalls and encryption is their first and foremost roles and responsibilities. Coming to the second one is to monitor threats, detect and respond to suspicious activities and breaches. Now moving on to the third, that is access vulnerabilities, conduct text to identify and fix system weaknesses. Now moving on to the fourth, we have develop policies, create security guidelines and train employees. Now moving on to the fifth, we have maintaining tools, manage antivirus software, firewalls and security systems. Cybersecurity engineers play a vital role in safeguarding the digital assets and maintaining trust in a connected world. Now, moving on to the skills required to become a cybersecurity engineer. If you are aiming to become a cybersecurity engineer, there's a mix of technical and soft skills you will need to master. So, let's break it down into bite-sized, relatable pieces. First, we have some technical skills to become a cybersecurity engineer. The first one is networking. You need to have a strong grip on how the internet and the network function works. Think TCP, IP, DNS, VPNs, and firewalls. These are the building blocks of security. If you don't know this, it's likely trying to guard a house without knowing where the doors are. Now moving on to the second, we have operating systems. Be a pro at securing Windows, Linux, and Mac. Each OS has its quirks, and understanding their security setups is key to defending against that. Now moving on to the third, we have programming. You don't need to be a coding wizard, but familiarity with Python, Java, or C++ will give you an edge. Even scripting with Bash or PowerShell can help automate the security task. Now fourth, we have cloud security. Companies are in the cloud, so you need to know how to secure platforms like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. The future of data is here and it needs protection. 
But before we commence, if you are really interested in building a career in cybersecurity, Simply Learn's professional cybersecurity program in cybersecurity in collaboration with Purdue University is the perfect opportunity for you. This comprehensive program offers 100 hours of live classes led by industry experts, practical exposure to top tools like Metasploit and Map and Burp Suit and hands-on experience through 40 plus projects and integrated labs. With advanced modules including generative AI for cybersecurity, you will stay ahead in the evolving field. The program also includes exclusive perks like a joint certificate from Purdue University and simply learn access to Purdue's alumni association and industry recognized certifications from IBM. Whether you are learning network security, ethical hacking, or vulnerability assessment, this program is designed to equip with the skills and certifications to excel in your cybersecurity career. Do check out for the link in the description box below and pinned comments. Now moving on to the cybersecurity tools under the skills required to become a cybersecurity engineer. You will spend a lot of time with the tools like SIEM, for example, the Splunk and the Curado, IDS and IPS antivirus software and endpoint protection systems. These are your shields and swords in the fight against the cyber threats. Now we have risk management. Every system has weak spots. Your job is to find them. Learn to conduct vulnerability assessments and penetration tests and then fix those issues before hackers can exploit them. Now, you should have a knowledge of security standards. Understand the compliance and frameworks like ISO 27001, GDPR, HIPAA, and NIST. Think of this as the rule book that keeps companies' security practices in check. Now, moving on to the soft skills section. In the soft skills section, we have analytical thinking. Cyber threats are like puzzles. Your job is to solve them. Quick thinking and problem solving are your superpowers. Now moving on to the second one is communication. You will often need to explain the complex tech issues to the people who don't speak tech. Simplify, clarify and get them on board. Now third we have attention to detail. Spotting the tiniest vulnerability can save a company from massive losses. Your eagle eyes will make all the difference. Now continuous learning. Cyber threats evolve every day and so should you. Stay ahead by keeping up with the latest trends, tools and attack methods. In cybersecurity, learning never stops. It what keeps the job exciting. Master these skills and you will not only be ready for a cybersecurity role but also thrive in a fast-paced, ever-changing field. Ready to take on the challenge? Now, let's see how to become a cybersecurity engineer in 2025. So are you starting from the scratch but want to become a cybersecurity engineer in 2025? No problem. Here's a step-by-step, -step, week by week roadmap to take you from zero to cybersecurity ready in just six weeks. So let's move on. For week one, we have master the basics. Now, mastering the basics involves network fundamentals, that is learning about IP addresses, TCP IP, DNS, and how networks function. Tools like Cisco Packet Tracer or YouTube tutorials are a great starting point. Secondly, we have operating system. Understand Windows and Linux basics. Install a Linux desktop, for example, the Ubuntu, and explore terminal commands. Thirdly, we have Cybersecurity 101. Watch the beginner-friendly videos to grasp concepts like firewalls, encryption, and access controls. Now, our daily goal is to dedicate one to two hours to learning and experimenting with tools like Wireshark for network analysis. Now, moving on to the second week, we have building foundational skills. So here we begin with scripting and automation. Start learning Python as it is beginner friendly and widely used in cybersecurity. Practice writing basic concepts to automate tasks. Secondly, we have basic security practices. Understand how antivirus software, VPNs, and firewalls work. Practice configuring a firewall on your system. Hands-on practice. Build your first simple security project like scanning for the open ports, using Python. Then our daily goal is to work on one practical exercise daily such as creating a simple script or configuring a security setting. Now moving on to the third week we have exploring tools and techniques. Firstly 
we will start with cyber security tools get familiarized with essential tools like sim splunk qradder and endpoint protection software then we have vulnerability assessment learn about the penetration testing and practice with the free tools like kali linux and metasploit now moving on we have cloud security basics Explore the cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud and their security features. Start with the free tier accounts. Now, our daily goal is to set up and test at least one cybersecurity tool each day. For example, run a vulnerability scan. Now, moving on, we have the fourth week as earn your first certification. So, we will begin with the certification preparation. Begin preparing for the beginner-friendly certifications like com tia security plus or certified ethical hacker sch use free resources or enroll in a boot camp if needed then we have practice exams take mock tests to familiarize yourself with the certification format hands on labs use platforms like try hack me or hack the box for real world practice now our daily goal is to study for one to two chapters of the certification syllabus and practice related skills now, moving on, we have the fifth week as work on projects for your portfolio. Now, creating a portfolio like a penetration testing report for your home lab, a Python script that automates the basic security tasks like the password strength and checker, a case study on a famous cybersecurity breach and how it was resolved. Now, you must be thinking why it is so important. Like why the projects are so important. Projects demonstrate your practical skills to potential employers. And that's why it is so important. Now moving on to the sixth week, we have the job ready preparation, our ultimate goal in 2025. So start with creating your portfolio. Showcase your certifications of Simply Learn projects made in this uh, live class and achievements include details about your hands-on experience, then comes resume and LinkedIn, like the projects, building a professional resume tailored for cybersecurity roles, optimize your LinkedIn and highlight your skills. Now, apply for jobs, target the entry level roles like the SOC analyst, security analyst or IT support with a focus on security. Now, getting interview preparation, like practice the common cybersecurity interview questions and perform the mock interviews. Our daily goal will be to apply at least to five jobs daily and connect with the industry professionals for guidance. Now, by following the structured six-week plan, you will gain the foundational skills, hands-on experience and confidence needed to step into the world of cybersecurity. Stay consistent, keep learning, and remember, every expert was once a beginner. Your cybersecurity journey starts now. All the best. So guys, that's a wrap. I hope you have liked the video and do subscribe to our channel for more updates like this. I will see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning with Simply Learn. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.